Welcome back guys to another video, it's a showcase video, this time it's a personal project uh, There's still a bit of work to be done but I'm just going to enter this as it is for the model because I haven't decided on a basin scheme yet, I might be doing trench bases for my L there because I got a few of them so I'm not 100% sure yet but um, this model is for John McLeod's 100 subs comp so this is my finished entry, I started it yesterday and I finished it this morning late this morning. I tried to do a bit of freehand but I've had some me and uh, Chris Gibbs Illusion Miniature Painting have been chatting away on Facebook and we've been discussing trying to tidy up the thorns on the model and stuff so um, that will be happening. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a turn around on the guy. I didn't go and paint every gem on him red I thought that was a bit overkill, so I just done a few of them. Uh, the thorns are down his legs, like so. On his arms, Let's see it there on his shoulder pad and his arm. There's some there on his head, and then I just done the boil tan heart, just to try and throw a little spice into it. Didn't do any on the vines because I was afraid I'd mess it up or hit it off something else. Um, the sword itself is Vallejo Air Metallic Black. That's the base and then just shining silver to give it the edge. And then it, that was the same. The black metallic was done in there on that steel. And um, that's it. I'm still not 100% on the bases yet because I don't want some of them to be on these kind of right bayonet bases and then some of them to be on trench bases. Just seem kind of weird, really. I don't want to get a, a whole army feel to it. Um, so I don't know yet. That's why the base isn't done. But I'm going to enter them as is. The helmet there, you can kind of see, or the headpiece. It's like there's a, a sandpaper texture on it. I don't know if it's dust or what it is that was on it. I don't know if my spray can was just funny. But uh, it was in a box. I think it, it might well have been dust. But I primed it anyway with the colour that was on it. And it's kind of left this really worn sandpapery texture, and I think it looks really good on the guns. You mightn't be able to pick it up on camera. No, you're probably not going to be able to pick it up. It's on the sword here, anyway. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, that, you can see it clearly now on the gun and stuff. I just think it came out really nice with that texture on it. I'm very happy with it. And uh, I'm very much debating painting all of my Eldar up as a side project now and try and get them back into 40k but we'll see what happens so John this is my entry for your competition I hope you like it it's boil tan based and it's not a potato so you should be happy anyway about that so it's going to do a boil tan potato bell tan whatever the green and white Eldar um, anyway guys let me know what you think cheers for watching Go give John a sub so we can hopefully get the chance to get more money out of him. Because everyone knows to scam someone out of money. What well, did I say scam? I meant win someone out of money. Um, just throw him a sub. He puts up videos. He's working on his LR and stuff. So go check him out. I'll leave the link below. And we'll see us in the next video. Cheers guys.